All right, guys. Today, I'm on a quest. And the quest is, number one, to catch a bass out of a kayak. That's right, I'm out in the Hobie again. Number two, another first for me, to catch a Guadalupe bass. And I'm in one of the only regions in the US where you can do that, on the Guadalupe River. So I thought I would take advantage of that. And this is what's really cool about a kayak. I just got out here. I found this little creek and there's a huge log jam that runs across. But if I wanted to, I could just pull my kayak over this log and keep going back into this pocket. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few casts back here in this pocket where I've seen some bass moving around and see if I can catch one of these things. Let's go do it. So here's what's really cool, you know, I was fishing off the log, I just couldn't get a clear view of the bass that were back here, so I just pulled that big Hobie kayak right over that log, and I'm back here, and there's bass swimming around, and I'm so pumped right now. Just being able to look at them is so much fun, and it's so stealthy in this kayak, it's just fun. Um, but I see a bass, he's kind of locked onto this log. I was going to catch him, but I figured I would do something interesting like I've done in the past and try to get that GoPro right up in there close to that bed and see if I can get him eating my bait on camera which is really cool I think this might be the fish that'll do it it's really hard to pick the right one that will have the camera in their bed and eat too uh, but I always like getting it on camera that's almost more exciting than just catching them so we're gonna give it a try see what happens There he is, my first bass out of a Hobie kayak. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I worked on that fish for a little while. I had the camera in the bed, it was really cool. And then I had it attached with some fishing line and it fell off, so I decided to just reel it back in. I almost lost the GoPro, it would've been really bad. Uh, but threw the finesse worm back in there and uh, bam. You know, that's, that's one of those little tips we talked about last time you know a little finesse worm wacky style and um, you know it produced my first kayak bass so there's some more on beds back here back here I'm gonna go uh, see if I can find some more that are willing to be on camera if not I'm just gonna catch them but fun stuff Okay, you know, I just caught that little one and I was gonna come explore this creek a little bit more. And I'm, keep in mind, I'm back here all by myself. Nobody's coming back here unless they're in a kayak. And I went about 20 feet farther and there's two nice ones. Like probably a four and a half, five pounder female that just came in. I saw her swim in while I was trying to catch the other one. And there's a male there that's probably two and a half, three pounds. So she just swam over to my kayak to check me out and swam back to her bed. They're staying there. So I'm gonna try to get this on camera. This is so hard to get on camera in the kayak. Whole new experience for me, but this is just fun. I'm watching bass come in all around me. It's exciting. But, oh, she's getting angry. She's opening her mouth. She wants me to catch her. I know it. that baby <laughs> about a four pounder 
Oh, I'm shaking. This is so much fun. There's another one bedded up right next to it. And uh, they both just seem like they're they're a little bit agitated. Uh, as you can see, they're fresh, never been caught. Um, absolutely gorgeous fish. So I'm going to let it go back. <sighs> shaking. That's what fishing's all about, man. Kayak bassing out on the Guadalupe. Clear water, getting it on camera. I am stoked. Clear water. Watch it swim back to its bed. That is awesome. <laughs> I know that probably looks like the same fish because it's really similar, but it's the one that was right next to it. As you can see, never been caught. Well, actually on the left side there a long time ago, but man, that was sweet. Two good ones on beds right here. I'm excited. I haven't even gone back in this creek yet really that far, so this is just awesome. Another four pounder doing pretty good. I'm going to let her go right where the bed was. See ya. It's actually right over here. I'm anchored right here. And it would come over and it would look at me. I could see its eyes. It would come up and it would look at me and then it would go back to the bed. And that kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction with the bass is just something that you don't get every day. And that's why I love sight fishing so much. It's so much fun. Alright, watch this, guys. These bass are going to swim by. Trying not to move. I think that was that group of four fish. One good four pounder. One came through and the other ones turned around when they saw me. It's like they looked at me and said, nope, see you later. off the bed the little one just moved up I decided to come back out of this creek and let him go see you dude well, I'm just now leaving the creek you now I came back here I wouldn't be able to get back here in a bass boat and I had to come back over that log jet skiers and boats out here everywhere but anyway back there it's peaceful and the bass were swimming around everywhere now if you got bass that are just swimming around and they're cruising, they see you before you see them, it's really tough to catch them. You know, your best chance of catching those fish is throwing a, a little finesse worm or a fluke or something out there, weightless, uh, and casting it really far in front of them. But, you know, the bass that were in, in the front of the creek right here, they were locked on. And so I was thinking there was going to be more bass in the, in the back that were locked on, but that wasn't the case. They were just cruising around back there, and they're really hard to catch. And, there wasn't that many big ones anyway, so I caught the ones that were locked on. It was, you know, absolutely uh, an experience uh, that I wouldn't have been able to have without the kayak. So that's what made it really cool. That was my first fish out of a kayak. Got to do it sight fishing. Really fun, but there's still a quest, and that is to catch the Guadalupe, Guadalupe bass. So I'm going to head out here and fish around a little bit, but it's been an awesome day, awesome experience. New for me, and it's been fun. So I'm going to go catch the, or try to catch the Guadalupe bass, 
and try not to get uh, swamped by all these jet skiers out here. Expedition number two out of the kayak has come to a close. I never did get that Guadalupe bass, but that's okay. I did accomplish my goal of catching a bass out of a kayak for the first time, and I managed to get it on camera, so that's pretty neat. And it was very difficult to get that on camera, you know, in the kayak, trying to hold the rods, position the boat uh, or the kayak, and uh, and hold the, the, the camera all at the same time. It was just very hard. So make sure you click the like button. Uh, but I had a very good time doing it, and on St. Patty's Day, you know, had to catch something green, so I went out and did that. If you've got waters that are near where you live that are accessible by a kayak, you know, creeks that go far back that bass boats can't get to, that is where you want to fish this time of year if you have a kayak. You know, that's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be able to take a kayak and go somewhere I couldn't go in my bass boat be able to catch some fish and I think I did that today it was a really neat experience and I hope you guys get out there and do it this time of year because this is the time where the big bass can move up in the backs of those creeks and you can catch them so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys later